Domo arigato, happy robato. Domo arigato, happy robato. Domo arigato, happy robato. You're wondering who I am. Secret, secret, I got a secret. Amazing amphibian. Secret, secret, I got a secret. Velvety voice and great looks. Secret, secret, I got a secret. It's Happy J Frog. Ha ha ha. Oh, I love to sing about myself when I'm in the woods. It's such an amazing time out here tonight. Ooh. What is this? Where did this come from? Who put this here? Is this some kind of joke? Of course not. It's real. It's creamy peanut butter, apricot preserves, and bread. Just when I had a, a little bit of a rumbly in my tumbly, the Lord hath provided. Amen! It's manna in the woods in the form of a sandwich. The Lord works in mysterious ways, they say. I believe it. I'm about to eat this sandwich. I think I will. Whoa, not so fast. Sonic, don't you touch my apricots! Whoa, how, how do you know they're yours? Sonny, we've been through this. Hmm. These are my woods. That's my food. Well, there's actually a table there and a bunch of kitchen where I, uh, I don't know if it's actually there for you in nature. That's right? all, as I would say on Law and Order circumstantial evidence. <laughs> okay. What was well, that, Sonny? Well, I think that we better check for Miss Jess. I bet she... Let me just have a little bite, Sonny. I'm hungry. You can't. Don't eat it. Don't Sonny. eat it. Sonny! No! Let's check for Miss Jess. I think I just saw Miss Jess. Don't touch that apricot, Sonny! All right. Whoa. Things are getting carried away in the forest there today. Well, Happy, you were wondering about all these treats here that are laid out right before you. It seems like they're for you, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Let's dig in. Well, I actually had a little activity we could do. I have an activity too, Miss Jess. What is it? You pray for the food and I'll eat it. <laughs> okay, well, I think we could pray for the food and you Amen. can eat it. But before we do that, let's do a little activity. Does it involve me... Eating apricot jam. Oh, yes, it will. You'll be, you'll be chowing down on it right at the end. That's so, what I like to hear, Miss Jess. So good, Hoppy. Can you teach me how to make a sandwich? A peanut butter delight and apricot preserve sandwich. With all these things that you see out in front of me, as if I've never made a sandwich before in my life. Is this some kind of trick, Miss Jess? It's not a trick, not at all. Are you trying to get me to let you make the sandwich and then eat my food? I won't eat it, I promise. Mm. I'll save it for you, definitely. So, how could we go about making a delicious, nutritious, peanut butter delight and apricot preserves sandwich? As if I was a robot and you were teaching the robot how to make the sandwich. Oh, I'm a really good teacher, Miss Jess. Okay, well, I'm sure you are, definitely. I would say, what is your robot name? Um... Can I give you a robot name? Could you? Yes. Um, how about Xanthar? Whoa, okay, Xanthar yeah. it is. Okay, Xanthar. All right, so how could we do this, Hoppy? I would say, Xanthar, make me a sandwich. Okay. Well, we'll have to get into more detail than that. How can I make it, Hoppy? Make me a sandwich with extra apricot jam. I can do that. How do I do it? What do you mean, Miss Jess? Do I gotta do everything around here? So should I put the bread on top of the peanut butter jar? This is ridiculous. What should I do first? First, I have to... Can I make it clear for you, Miss Jess? What? I don't care what you do first. I just want that food in my mouth. <laughs> okay, so first I'll open the jar of peanut butter. I would do apricots first, but that's mm. just me. Well, you could say that. Open... The peanut butter with your left hand yes. and spread it with your right hand using the knife. Okay. Here we go. You're spreading it wrong, Miss Jess. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, you gotta spread it in a counterclockwise motion. Whoa. I guess we could do that. Wonderful. Peanut butter on the bread. I'm gonna light on that peanut butter. <laughs> Don't be skimpy, Miss Jess. I'm hungry. You are a hungry frog, after all. 
That's peanut true. butter on the bread. Now what should I do, Hoppy the Frog? Hoppy? Put the lid back on the peanut butter, because you know why? Why? Flies will get in it. Flies will. Something I want. And some flies, but I don't want them in my peanut butter. No siree, Bob. I think most frogs would. They'd really enjoy that in their if peanut If you haven't noticed, Miss Jess, yes. I'm not your average frog. <laughs> True. Well above average. I have a quite advanced palate. Oh, interesting. You have mentioned that palate many yes. times. What should I do next, Hoppy? Open the apricot preserves with your right hand. Yes. Can I smell them? I guess. That's good apricots. <laughs> nice and fresh apricots. I love the smell of apricots in the morning. Apricots, apricots. Do you say apricots or apricots? I was thinking apricots. Hmm. So anyway, I'll spread that onto the other slice of bread. Hold on a minute here. What is it? I got a question. Yeah, what could it be? Can I do a quick poll? Sure. If you're watching this video, let us know in the comments if you pronounce it apricots or apricots with a long A or short A. Okay, we're getting into some phonetics. I say apricots, like the Fonz from Happy Days. A. Yes. Yeah. And I say apricots with a soft A. All right, Mr. Hoppy. Mm -hmm. There I've you hit, have it. I've lived a very hard life, Miss Jess. Mm. Down in the it pond. Com it comes out in my, my vowel pronunciation. Must be, must be rough in that yeah. pond. All right, Hoppy, you are a very talented frog. Here we go. All set? I will say you did go heavy on that apricot, <laughs> Jam, and I like that. Good. It'll be nice and sticky for you. Yeah. Are we all set? If That's... I ever get married, Miss Jess, yeah. one of the qualities I'm looking for yes. is a girl who does not go light on my apricot, Jam. Mm, well, I'm yeah. sure you'll find the right girl. I hope so. All right. So what's Not for a long time, though. <laughs> I'm a bachelor to the rapture. That's my motto. Oh, well, there you go. Yep. Well, Hoppy, is that all set? The bread just stays like that? You got to put it together. Okay. Put it together, and voila. Then you got to cut off the crust. Cut off the crust? Whoa, now we're getting carried away. No, I have particular taste, Miss Jess. You really want that done? Cut off okay, the crust. so cutting off the crust. Yep. Voila. Do, do, do. And I should ask you, do you want it sliced into triangles? Triangles, of course, triangles. Or squares. There's yes. only one way to eat a sandwich is cut into triangles. Triangles, okay. And are yeah. you sure you can eat this sandwich, Hoppy? Miss Jess, come on now. Okay, I wasn't sure with uh, your whole digestive I can, system. I can, I can do magic tricks with food. All right, well, I hope that you will enjoy this sandwich, Hoppy. Oh, I will. Do I know what my magic trick is? What is it? I make food disappear. <laughs> Good one. Oh, all right. Excellent. Hoppy, good. thank you. That actually reminds me of our lesson that we're talking about today. Apricots in the Bible. Well, we've been learning about praying. Yeah. Our lesson That's this, right. last week was about why should we pray. Yeah, I remember. That was a good lesson, Miss Jess. Do you remember why we should pray, Hoppy? Because that's how we communicate and talk with God. Yes, it's just like how you talk to your family, yeah. but to God we talk through prayer. That's right. So today we're going to learn about how should we pray. And we were learning about being robots and how yeah. you don't want to be a robot to pray. No. Because if we were a robot to pray, mm -hmm. then we would we would be too stoic and it would be like a machine praying. You don't want to say yeah. the same thing every time you pray. The Pharisees were kind of like robotic in when they're prayed. Yes, they, they definitely They would repeat the same prayers and use the same words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't want to be that way. No, God wants us to pray more specifically, I think. Yes, and yeah. we really get to know him, and he, he wants to hear everything that we're going through. Effectual and fervent is the type of prayer that James tells us we should pray. Yes. Not boring and dull. Not the boring and dull prayers. Nope. Let's start right into our memory verse here and take a look at it. And our friends at home, you can grab your Bibles, and it's in Psalm chapter 66, verse 20. Let's take a closer look, up close and personal. Can you read that for us, Hoppy? Hold on a second. Yeah, I get, get a little bit closer here. here. Do you need glasses, Hoppy? Stop it. Well, just checking. Blessed be God, which hath not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Mm, wonderful. So he doesn't turn away our prayers. Never. 
or his mercy. His mercy doesn't go away from us. Nope. So let's take a look in our Bibles, and we're going to check a little bit deeper into this thought. Okay. okay. So for you friends at home and our kids in our classes at Sunday school, yep. if you would turn in your Bibles to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. <laughs> yes. Chapter 29, verses 11 through 13. That's what we're going to look. So God wants us to pray with all of our hearts, not half-heartedly, not nope. just here and there, not just at mm -hmm. bedtime when you're about to fall asleep and you don't really finish. No. God wants us to pray all the time. All the time. Yep, and not just so other people think that we're godly or that oh, we're fancy that's, or something. That's some like Pharisee-type praying there, Miss Jess. That is like a Pharisee. In the Bible, the Pharisees are the people who wanted to pray just so everyone would look at them and think, wow, they've really got it together. That's not why we pray. No, don't be a Pharisee. We don't want to be a Pharisee. Nah. You want to pray so you can get close to God and he'll get close to us. That's right. So let's look at those verses. What chapter was it again in Jeremiah? Je Jeremiah yeah. chapter 29. 29. Verses 11 through 13. Okay. Could you read it for us, Hoppy, nice and slowly? How slow can I go? <laughs> can you go this slow? All the way to the floor? All right. And the vision of... Is that slow enough, Miss uh, Jess? That might be a little too slow, Hoppy. Could you pick it up a little bit? Okay, yeah. Thanks. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, mm -hmm. which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. Hang on there, Hoppy. Are you in Jeremiah chapter 29? No, I'm actually in Isaiah. I'm sorry. Oh, you're trying to trick us, I guess. Well, we're going to turn to Ch Jeremiah, chapter 29, but I'm sure those were great verses, too. They were, and I, I saw the word pray in there, and I got confused because oh. I thought maybe it was the right one. Yeah, it might Let me be. try that again. I'm sure it would go <clears> with <throat> For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith yes. the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Yes. And ye shall seek me. Oh, then ye shall call upon me, and shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Hmm. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. With all your heart. Yep. Thank you, Hoppy. I like that word, hearken, Miss Jess. And what does that even mean, Hoppy? What would you say? I think it means I will listen and hear from you. Listen. Listen quickly, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And we do listen for God yeah. by reading our Bibles. So yeah. we talk to him through prayer. All day long, mm -hmm. as you're going through things, when you're sad, he wants to be sad with yep. you. He wants to comfort you. Yeah, when you're happy, you sing songs. Yes, and you can sing you to praise him. Praise mm him. -hmm. Do you yeah. sing to him, Hoppy? Yes, I do. I know you do, because you do in our shows here. Yeah. And he wants to be involved and be a main part of our lives here. Yeah, he does. And those verses tell us that we were wondering, will God listen when we pray? Does he actually listen? Yeah, he does. He of definitely he does. does. Yeah. What kinds of plans does God have for us, Hoppy? Well, great, great plans. It says that he has. Mm -hmm. um, he wants to give us peace and yes. be blessed. And to prosper and have a hope yeah. and a future that you can look forward to. Yep. And he wants to keep us from harm. He's always there to protect us. Mm -hmm. But Hoppy and our friends at home and in class, how can we seek and find God? Mm. That's a... An interesting question. Well, it said there that we can find him only when we seek him with all our hearts. All our hearts. Yeah. Not halfway, not sort no. of, I kind of want to trust him. No. It's when we have our full heart and we say, yes, God, yeah. I believe you and you're who I'm turning to. Yeah. That's like if you want to go swimming, you can't just keep one foot in the water and one foot on the beach. you got to be all in. Be, you would know that, Hoppy. Oh, yeah. Being a frog and all. Yeah, it's got to go for it. Yes. God wants to give us hope and what else? A future. A future. An expected end. Yep. Which means if we trust in him, we can know where we're going when, when we pass on. We know that we're going to heaven for sure. Yeah. I know that without a doubt. Because you hearkened. Yeah. I listened to God and he said, if you trust in me, you can know for sure that you're going to heaven. Yeah. Not because I'm fancy, 
Not because I teach frogs Sunday yeah, school. Yeah, you want jazz fans, you don't let me down. <laughs> because we trust, put our trust in our with our whole hearts in God. <laughs> right. Nice you like Reba McIntyre, Miss Jess? That brought up some memories there. Do you like Reba? Reba's a wonderful singer, yeah. Who doesn't? Did you ever watch her TV show? I, n- not really. Do you, Hoppy, in the pond, do you watch the Reba show? It's been on reruns a few times. Okay, okay. I like that van. He makes me laugh. All right, Hoppy. Well, when should we pray? He plays football like me, but not as good. Hoppy, when we pray, we should pray with what? With all of our... Hearts. All of our hearts. And we were talking a little bit about that. Not yeah. just halfway, not sort of nah. praying. We That's just... one thing I can say. Hoppy J. Frog doesn't do nothing halfway. I believe that. Yeah. You uh, seem like a frog who is all in. Yeah. Well, Hoppy, how do we do that with all of our hearts? How can we be all in for Jesus? How do you actually pray with all your heart? Do you just kind of... I think, like you said, we can't be robotic about it. we got to be real. Yes. And like you said, I had to give you specific directions mm-hmm. when I was trying to communicate with you to, to pray to God specifically and not just use vague general terms right. that... Be real and tell God what you need and what you need help with, and he will. Should we get alone with him and kind of turn off all of our machines and our devices and really focus on him? Yeah, it's, it's really going to be hard to focus on God if you're distracted by yes. other things going on in the background or even other people. You know what I do, Miss Jess? What do you do, huh? You know what the Bible says about going into a closet when you pray? Yeah, I've read that. Well, I don't really have a closet, but I do try to go a place where nobody else is around and I can just have privacy mm-hmm. and just have a clear mind when I pray to God. It helps me focus. Yes. And that way I can hopefully pray with all my heart instead of part of my heart and part of my mind being distracted. Distracted. Yeah. Right. So you set the time aside for God. Yeah. You make it a priority, just like mm-hmm. brushing your teeth and getting dressed. Yeah. Those are things you do. I didn't get dressed day. today, Miss Jess. You can tell. Oh, well, I guess we should maybe talk about that another time. Yeah. Um. Yes, we should do it with all our heart and make it part of our everyday things that we do praying to god yeah. that'll give him our whole heart yeah wow Bob, you sure know a lot about praying well i've learned a lot from learning from the bible the past few weeks yes. and really kind of listen to these lessons has really helped me a lot because i yes. thought i knew about prayer yeah. and i realized there's a lot more to it it's simple yes. it's not hard to pray yeah. but when you realize how important it is it makes it much more how i don't know the word but it makes me want to make sure that I'm making it the priority that it should be. Wow, definitely. That's yeah. awesome, Hoppy. And I hope our friends at home are, too. Yeah. And awesome. our friends in class. Yep. So this week, why don't we all try to remember to make it a priority to pray? Yeah. Tell God everything. Tell him when you're sad, what's making you sad, he'll comfort you. Yeah. And when you're afraid, tell him what you're afraid of. He's right there with you. Yeah. You know what I do sometimes? What do you do, Happy? Is if I'm going through something tough Mm -hmm. and I've got a lot on my mind, I'll actually, when I start to pray, I'll keep a little notebook with me and a pen. And if there's something that pops into my mind, I just write it down real fast Mm -hmm. so I know that I can come back to it later. And that way it's not distracting me the whole time when I'm trying to pray. I love that idea, Happy. And our friends at home can do that too. Mm -hmm. Do you have to pray for a super long time, Happy? No, when when Peter was sinking in the on the, when he's walking water, he just said, "Lord, save me." Lord, save. It's a three word prayer, but he prayed it to God, and he prayed it with all his heart, and he really meant it. And so yeah, it's better to. Paul said he'd rather speak five words that actually have some meaning to them than just kind of have a whole bunch of jibber jabber that doesn't mean much. Right. So, that you repeat like a robot. Yeah. Don't. And Bible says Jesus said, "Don't when you're gonna pray." Don't use just a bunch of words thinking that God's going to listen just because he's impressed by you repeating the same prayers over and over and using the same words and sounding fancy. Right. That's not what it's about. He said, don't think I'm going to listen because of that, but pray to me all the time with all your heart. Yes, just like you talk to your parents and your friends and the, yeah. the people you care about. Yeah. We care about God and he cares about us. He sure does. He wants to hear it all. And there's power in that. And your yeah. lives will be changed when you talk to him that way. Mm-hmm. So, but we've got to trust in him first and yep. believe that he is God. Yeah. And then he is right there with us.
Jess. Miss Jess? Yes, Hoppy. I like listening to these stories and learning them. Me too, and you sure have a lot of knowledge about the Bible. You should be a pastor, Hoppy. I don't know about that. Maybe one day. All right, well, Hoppy, our friends at home can do this coloring page. If they go on our Facebook page and they can Oh, it's a it robot, off. like our lesson. Yes. yes. That's and, cool. And you can go ahead and post it in the comments on Facebook to be entered for our contest. I'm going to name him Zamthar, like our <laughs> example. Yes, great example. And maybe our Thanks. friends at home can come up with a robot name, too. Yeah, name your robot. Just for fun. Post it in the comments. All yeah. right. Hoppy, could you pray that we would remember to just pray and not be like robots when we Yeah, pray? sure. Thank you. And then our friends have one last song. Okay. Okay, Hoppy, thanks. All right, let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Okay. Dear Jesus, we just thank you so much that we can talk to you. Just like uh, our friends and our our Father, because you are our Heavenly Father. The Bible tells us that you are our friend who sticks closer than a brother. Yes. So I pray that when we pray to you, I pray that you'll help us to remember that we don't have to use fancy words or anything like that. You just want to hear from us. Mm -hmm. And I pray that you'll help us to pray with all our heart, not to be robotic, not to repeat the same prayers over and over again, not to repeat other people's prayers, not to pray and use words that we think other people want to try to impress other people mm -hmm. or anything like that. Just to pray to you and just be honest with our prayers. Lord, help us to do all of that with all of our hearts as we listen to you and as we try to communicate to know you better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Hoppy. You're welcome. All right. I wonder if anyone's going to eat that sandwich. Blood of the Lamb. Serve it for Jesus, your King. There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. In the blood. Of the land, in the precious blood of the land, there's power, there's wonder working power in the blood, power, there's wonder working power. Do you serve it for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood Would you live daily His praises to sing There's wonderful Power in the blood There's power Power Wonder working power In the blood Of the land Wonder working power Blood of the land of the land. 